Hi, good morning. Today, I think we're going to discuss frequencies. Um, I was talking to my daughter earlier today. Her name is Cassie. And I'm like, I don't know exactly what topic I want to talk about today. So she's like, Mom, I have a really good topic. Could you please talk about Albert Einstein and the Philadelphia experiment? And I said, well, you know what? Yeah, I think I can. I'll start it off with that and I'll start talking about what's going on and how it relates to our world today, this reality we're in today. So at one point, Albert Einstein, he wanted to have radar invisibility. Of course, it's history. And uh, he tapped into something he was unaware that he was going to do with his technology. Um, anyway, what happened was, and I'll make it really short, he ended up going into a different dimension. Well, the ship did anyway. He, they rigged the ship up with all kinds of devices, and it actually changed the dimension they were in. Well, when they were in a different dimension, it actually changed the vibration or the frequency that they were running at, and it made them um, less, less, like in 3D, were really packed hard, so it's like this. And in that dimension, they became loose like this with their physical beings, and the ship they were on, it became much less heavily packed. So anyway, when they came, when they were there, they were talking about seeing this green mist all around them and what have you and just weird stuff. And they were like in an abyss of they didn't know what. So they ended up coming back. When they came back, they didn't even come back into the place they were at. They ended up someplace else. <laughs> so anyway, when the ship did come back, um, some of the people were missing off the ship because they had fallen off board or jumped off or who knows what. And some of the men were actually embedded in the ship because when they came back to the 3D, they became like this again, solid. And if they'd been passing by a bulkhead or in the floor or something, they were solidified instantly because of coming back. It's a difference of frequency, which means you're held together differently, tighter. So, and there was... From what I understand, there was green goop all over stuff, which we would claim to be like ectoplasm. Like they would say if there was a ghost and you got slimed, ectoplasm. Well, what I found is that that ectoplasm in a different dimension is mist. And when it comes into this dimension, it becomes solid, solidified, and there is the ectoplasm. So why am I talking about this? Well, we recently went through a 4D shift. We are no longer in 3D. And with, with that shift, we also, uh, let's just say, are held together loosely, a little more loosely. And a lot of us, well, not a lot of us, but some of us who were on a much lower negative vibration simply couldn't make the shift. And these would be beings that are... Some of them were projected in, and some of them are actually their original 102. Well, some of these people held high prestige facades, personas, what have you. Like the Queen of England is no longer with us. Her being couldn't make the shift. And it's not just her. There were others too in high places that couldn't make the shift. And now it seems like everyone is scrambling around them that are in the negative agenda trying to bide for power because these big time heavy sluggers are not here anymore because they simply couldn't make the shift. And from what I'm seeing, we will be going through another shift and it will be going into a yet another higher dimension. So even they will no longer be able to sustain being here. So this is a part of the big also changing of our reality, why we can now manifest uh, because of where we are in the dimensions, in the multi-realities, because all of the multi-realities, if you go to video five, pretty sure it was video five, that I talk about going to different realities. It's affecting everything inside of the simulation. <laughs> so it's a way to try to get the last 102 out. So I just thought it was interesting that everyone's talking about this cabal, 
which they're, I, you can call them whatever you want. They're negative entities and they're run by the Archon. I think it's all part of the Archon. And yes, they're pretty darn bad. They have dark agendas and they're still with us trying to continue their dark agendas. But hopefully with the dimension shifts, which it's not even hopefully, I, I already see some of them gone. They just simply couldn't stay. Um, the rest of them that we'll have to deal with, with their sneaky little agendas, trying to hoodwink us on so many aspects, uh, we'll be dealing with them on a higher vibration and we'll have a lot more leverage. When you think about anything you want, aim for the stars. Don't just think personally, I want a big house and I want a, lots of cars and I want a bank full of money. No, those things are nice. Yeah, everybody might want that. Think about the human race. What do you want for the human race? You want free energy? You want freedom? You won't want to have to work as hard as you work and yet be able to live in a better lifestyle? These are the things we need to aim for. Things that will benefit everyone. Because if it benefits everyone, it'll benefit you. So I guess I'm going to make this video short because I found that if I make longer videos, they don't get watched. <laughs> so everybody have a nice day and we'll be talking about more on the subject on another video. Bye.